Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about the piano roll. We are going to thoroughly explain how to use the piano roll and what all these things do. The piano roll is like the big brother of the channel rack. With more controls, more options and more room for creativity, it is used to make melodies, drum loops and so on. The piano roll works with any plugin, one shot and sample you use on the channel rack. And if you don't know what a channel rack is, I made a complete beginner's video on it. The link is in the description and also consider subscribing. So first things first, we are going to look at the toolbar here. What do all these things do? Before we start, I'm going to load up the FL keys and also a snare to make this easier to understand. The first thing we have here is the preview keyboard. This is used to preview or hear the note. It also serves as a guide when adding notes. So if you left click on one of these keys, you will hear what note it's playing. Here we have the main menu. This is where you access functions that is used to organize and work with the piano roll, like file, edit, tools, stamp, and so on. The next thing here is the tools. Here you can find options like strum, quick chop, and so on. You can also access this through the main menu. Here we have the snap. This is useful if you want to make a certain length of note. Next we have the stamp tool. This is used to easily input chords into the piano roll, especially if you don't know anything about chords and scales. All you have to do is just open the stamp tool, choose the chord you want, and then right click on any note and it gives you the full chord. And here we have the snap to scale feature. This is used to snap notes to stay in scale. This makes sure your notes are always in scale no matter where you click. Also, this is perfect for you if you don't know anything about chords and scales. Next thing here is the draw tool. This is used to place a note anywhere you want just by selecting it and right clicking to use. Here we have the paint tool. This allows us to hold left click and add multiple notes at the same time. Next, we have the paint in drum sequencer mode. This is useful, especially when making drum samples as well as other plugins. Next, we have the delete tool that deletes a note we select. Then we have the mute button that mutes the note we select. Next, we have the slice tool. This helps us chop different notes at the same time or individually by also selecting it and right-clicking to use. Next we have the selection tool. This is used to select one or more notes. Next we have the zoom tool that helps us to zoom in by left-clicking and zoom out by right-clicking. Next we have the playback tool. This is used to play a particular note or group of notes at any time by left clicking. If you have different plugins or instruments in Channel Rack, this is used to select anyone you want to work with. 
This here is where you add the notes. To add a note, just choose the Draw tool, the Paint tool, or the Paint in Drum Sequencer mode, and left-click to add. To delete a note, just right-click. To extend a note, just go to the side, click and drag. You can use the scroll bar to zoom in and zoom out. And you can use the one at the right to go up and down. Down here we have the control, which is used to set the velocity, fine pitch, panning of each note. If you right-click here before you add a note, it will add a slide on your note. And if you right-click here, it will add a portamento to your note. I hope you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment on what you want us to cover next.